Worse than a crying baby, worse than lost luggage. When it comes to air travel woes, extreme turbulence is tough to beat because not only does a bumpy ride wear on your nerves, it can also be dangerous for passengers and the plane, but there's a new way airlines are working to end the in-flight shakes. And ABC's Jim Avila literally takes it for a spin. Most flights try to avoid the bumps. Today on this gleaming vintage airliner, a 1952 Convair turboprop retrofitted as a Honeywell Labs test plane, the pilot's instructions are to look for all the storms and turbulence he can find. That's the storm system we're looking for. We're over North Carolina, storm chasing, to test and show off a new radar system designed to avoid this. <laughs> It happens more than 70,000 times a year. Pilot reported moderate to severe turbulence, unstable air caused by colliding winds and temperature changes. Three-fourths of all weather-related accidents caused by rough air shaking up the cockpit and cabin. The two flight attendants that are back there, one of them got thrown up in the air. He flew and landed on the hallway. Rough weather rarely brings down a plane, but it injures more passengers than you think and causes a half billion dollars in damage and delays every year. This turbulence animation shows how the unbelted can achieve weightlessness, something I nearly experienced on this flight. This is why the flight attendants are always pestering to keep your seat belts on. In-flight turbulence causes more injuries in the air than anything else. And airlines don't like it either. It's expensive, costing them hundreds of thousands of dollars per incident. Our wild ride Good. They've just begun. There we got one. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> time to examine the radar breakthrough. For the first time, a new 3D radar installed in business and soon fleets of commercial jets, Southwest already has it in 19 planes, will allow pilots to spot lightning, hail, and the bumps from more than 60 miles away. We are directly facing this. I know that there's hail, there's lightning. We are in the storm now. Clouds billowing, cabins shaking to demonstrate the new radar screen that actually identifies lightning cells and hail, flashing bright icons pilots cannot miss. What it gives me is the information to make a better decision sooner. Chief Pilot Marcus Johnson can look at his screen and not just see vague heavy weather colors. It allows me to concentrate on deciding where to go to have the smoothest, safest ride. In the old radar system, pilots had to manually scan to find the top of the storm cloud. One reason so many flights run into bumps. <laughs> Honeywell says its analysis of weather-related incidents where the plane has been damaged by either hail or lightning shows that in two-thirds of the cases, the pilots may have misread the radar. The areas that I should avoid are shown to me automatically. And while lightning may frighten passengers most, it's not like lightning is going to strike the airplane and blow the wing off. It's not going to set the airplane on fire or that sort of thing. But it can blow a hole right through structure in the airplane. And it plays havoc with the electronics and avionics. A hailstorm is what really causes the damage. Look at this jet nose cone. It can uh, tear right through it. Best to avoid that. Here's to smoother flights. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Jim Avila, ABC News, over Wilmington, North Carolina.